crap I've ever eaten. Ah! Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is 3.05 a.m. on Monday morning, and I am headed down to the Tickle Toad to help Paul paint the floor. Uh, trying to get up at 2.50 in the morning. Not easy. I tried to go to bed early. I ended up going to bed at around 10. Probably didn't fall asleep until 10.30, 11. Uh, and then kept waking up thinking I missed my alarm. Like my dreams were me missing the alarm uh, or hearing the alarm, shutting it off, and then not waking up and I'm late. Yeah, it, there was like little, little, little mini uh, screw Paul over nightmares. <laughs> uh, getting a, Paul, a call the next day. Dude, man, I needed you last night. <laughs> but I managed. Uh, I just saw it. Seven minutes after, I just looked down and I noticed I don't have any gas. So we're going to have to quickly stop and get gas in this pouring, miserable, freezing, cold rain here in Canada. Let's go. Off to Paul's. Dollar five. Dollar five point four. Oh, windshield wipers. Oh, my head. <laughs> Made it to the tickle toad, people. Oh, and my legs are still sore. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be like crawling around on the floor, cutting in, painting, when my legs are sore. This is day three now. Day three. Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. The guy's already started. Usually, like sitting out back having a cigarette. Yeah, cigarette. <laughs> there you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is what it looks like when all the chairs are out. When'd you get in? Like half an hour ago? You don't like sleep? What's that? You don't like sleep, do you? No, I live on coffee. Ah. I drink coffee so other people can live. Tickle toad. All right. Back to work. Okay, this is the uh, secret to painting at 4 o'clock in the morning. Yep, that's it. Instant coffee. Come on, you can do it. One cigar. Two cream. In that small cup, definitely. Well, there you are. Uh, the painting is all done. This is pretty dry. Paul just finished up this and it is very wet. Uh, now we're just gonna head over to McDonald's and uh, have some breakfast, wait for it to cure, and then we come back and then we mop on a special kind of sealant. So it's uh, 6.06, .06, so two hours, not bad. Gonna grab some McDonald's breakfast. 
Hey, hey, Paul. Oh, brownies. Oh, those look good. I've got the wrong. Oh, that says oatmeal raisin. Oh, it's mixed up. Yeah, they mixed up. Well, that says McGriddle right on it, buddy. So that's where you got to make juice. I got the McGriddle. This is Rick. Rick, Rick what did you get? Uh, that you have to tell them eight times. That's I don't know. I'll go back and ask her what I got. <laughs> she's, she's like, what do you want? And Rick's like, whatever you order. Bacon, egg, egg, Mc, egg, egg, egg McMuffin. Egg McMuffin bacon. bacon. The bacon eater. And then he walks away, and then she asks again, Paul, and... and Paul's like, what? And she asks again. And so Rick has to come back, say it again three times <laughs> that he had to come back and say it. Oh, that smells beautiful. So I'm not sure if you guys know what a McGriddle is, oh, but yeah. it is. I like the M on them. Though. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's like a pancake. So it's like, like probably the highest sugar, fat, concentrated thing. I think this is one of the most calorie driven foods, but it tastes great because it's, it's uh, injected with syrup. And with an M. And with an M or a W. Anyway, what'd you get, Paul? Uh, bacon. Um, bacon bagel. Yeah. Nothing else on it. Is no egg. No. Just bacon. How many times did you ask for? <laughs> she, you know, she, asked, she asked you a couple times about what bagel, yes. and you, you couldn't understand what she said. One, yeah. It's a little bit of a language barrier there. Anyway, let's eat. Well, breakfast was awesome. Breakfast. Thanks, Paul. You're welcome. So I was gonna check to see if it's 100% dry. Yeah. <laughs> Just smell. <laughs> yeah, that's still kind of damp. That's dry. It's time to mop. Now we're uh, mopping on the clear coat. Just done this part. Got to do the whole bar. By myself, Paul's doing something else right now, so this is a one-man job. Let's keep going. Now we gotta put all the stuff back, it's all dry. Now we gotta put every single one of these tables, chairs, stools, everything back to its original place. Looks good, bud. See, Paul's in pain. He's poor back. Oh. All right, buddy. Thanks for, uh, Thanks for having me out to paint the floor. Oh. All right. I'm off to do the drone work. Drone. The drone. All right. See you, buddy. Have, have a good day, man. I'll try. Made it downtown Toronto. I'm right really close to the uh, drone place. But unfortunately, I'm an hour and a half early before it opens. This place opens at 12 noon. 
It is 10.30, so I need to also do a food review, but of course none of the food places that I want to try open till 11. So uh, I'm going to try and find a food place, do a review for 11. This guy's parked like right there, right in the middle of the road. We have to uh, do the drone and then go home. Might be a surprise workout in there, I don't know. Depends how much time we have. So I parked down the street for like about a half an hour, just trying to waste some time until 12 o'clock. It is now 11.48, so 10 minutes basically until 12 o'clock. So I'm trying to time it because again, it is pouring rain outside. And uh, I'm gonna have to like bolt around the corner I'm somewhat close, but uh, I have to carry my drone, my backpack. And then when I get there, I'm gonna have to like set it up because I need to show the guys what's wrong with the with the drone. Hopefully they can fix it by Friday because I need it basically Monday because we're going to uh, Palm Springs. So I like to bring it to Palm Springs with me and uh, take some not too high aerial shots, but some aerial shots, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. Well, this notice on the door says uh, seven days a week. Monday is 12 till six, which is today. So, uh, but it's still just before 12, so. Dropped off the drone. And uh, nice guy. Hopefully uh, they can fix it within the next day or two. Definitely before Friday. I'm not sure what I'm doing the rest of this week. I don't have my calendar in front of me. But uh, I kind of really want to just grab something to eat. But I really need to do a food review. Hmm. Okay, I'm just about to head home. Got to pay for parking before we go. It looks like there's an attendant here. You could pay here, I guess. Or you could pay there. I'm going to pay there. Just finished doing review at, uh, that, that was barely on, wow. That, that should have just fallen off. So I did, I did the wraps on the go. I was explaining that they have this card that you can stamp every time you buy one. And uh, it rocks. They've changed owners. I asked them where the short little guy was. And because uh, this guy is tall, skinny, so I knew it was a different owner, or he could have just been an employee. But he's the owner now, and uh, it's nice to always meet owners and and uh, show them that you appreciate their good food. Because it's freaking, like I said, any of you guys live in Newmarket? I said that during the video for the food review. But you live in Newmarket? Please stop by here, say hi to this guy, tell him that Ken Dominic sent you, and uh, do the Caesar chicken Caesar uh, and ask him to not panini it uh, into the toaster just tell him to wrap it up properly like a, a regular wrap because this, this was the most messiest wrap I've ever eaten ah! let's go home It is 4.30 in the afternoon. I've already been home. I put together the video for today and uh, now we are headed down to Leah's house to drop this car off uh, for Ben so he can go to work and then come back. We don't have to go pick him up and stuff like that. And then my daughter and I are going to be going down to the Mandarin to pick up some Chinese food to take over to my brother-in-law's house. And uh, we're gonna be celebrating his uh, 52nd birthday very cool happy birthday Brian love from the whole family but we'll see you soon uh, but that will end the vlog off for today uh, not much to see here going forward it's a private event for family eyes only I wish I could take you with me I really do 
All right, so thanks for coming along with me today on this very interesting painting the tickled toad floor. Then driving all the way downtown to drop off the drone. And then we got up to Newmarket and uh, did our food review, got home and all that stuff. So thanks very much for stopping by. Tagging along with me on Domic Nation and uh, a couple cool things coming up just to give you a heads up. Uh, we will be making a website very soon. Uh, we will be starting a new merchandise uh, website uh, that will be attached to that one through a company. I'm not sure if I should say it just yet. So it's not going to be Spreadshirt anymore. It's going to be another company. So stay tuned for that. New designs, new shirts, limited time only stuff. And uh, it will be rotating and changing all the time. So keep your eyes and ears peeled for the KBD merchandise. Ciao, guys. Have a great night.